Okay, so here's our first example in evaluating limits, and it looks terrible. Look at this. We must evaluate the limit when y tends to 4 of this horrendous expression. Uh, but it's, it's not that difficult. All we need to do is simply substitute y equal to 4 if it's possible. Remember what we said, that we can evaluate a limit when x tends to a of f x by substituting in other words this would be equal to f a if f a um if f sorry is continuous continuous at x equal to a in other words if it is defined okay at at y equal to 4 so forget that it's now a y it's just a different uh, variable if it is defined at that point, then we can simply substitute to evaluate the limit. Let's see. Okay. If I substitute a 4 in here, I get 4 squared. Okay. 3 times 4 squared. 4 squared is 16. 3 times 16 is 48. Okay. No problems yet. If I substitute a 4 in here, I get 4 minus 1. That gives me 3 cubed. Okay, 3 cubed gives me 27. So in my denominator, where the problem would be, I've got 48 times 27. That's not a problem. I don't get 0, which means x, uh, y is allowed to be 4, so therefore I can substitute. And, and in my very next step, I can leave out the limit. As soon as I can substitute, I say this is equal to 4 squared minus 1 over 3 times 4 squared 4 minus 1 cubed. You see, I didn't need to go and simplify, do anything, because all I need to do is simplify, uh, sorry, is substitute. And my next step, I can actually now go ahead and simplify. So 4 squared is 16, so this is 7 times 15 over, and in the denominator, I got 48 times 27, 27, and I suppose I can simplify this a little bit. Let's see what we can do. Here we have 3 times 5 times 7. I'm trying to do this without a calculator. 48 was 4 squared. So in other words, that's 2 to the power of 4 times 3. Uh, yes, 2 to the power of 4 times 3. Here's 27, which is 3 to the power of 3. So this is 3 to the power of 4. There we go. <coughs> Okay, the only simplification I can do is I can take away 1, 3 here and 1, 3 there. So that becomes 3 to the power of 3, which, and, and this is as simple as I can write it. 5 times 7 is 35 over 16, 16 times 27. What is 16 times 27? Well, uh, 7 times 6 is 42 7 times 1 is 7 plus 4 is 11 uh, at a 0 I'm doing it the long way around huh? I haven't done this in ages 2 times 6 is 12 um, well I suppose 2 times you know, that gives me 302 and if I add this together I get 4 3 2 okay that's what I get 4 3, 2, and it's impossible to simplify this any further because I already did the cancellation, which was a common 3. Okay, that's the answer. That's that's the only difficult part here was some grade, uh, well, primary school maths, actually. And, and that's it. Uh, in the next video, maybe we find one that's not as simple. See you there.